Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you this evening? Um, it was okay. <laughs> it's going well. Yes. And how was your day at work? Um, I don't have work. I don't work in. Why not? Um, for a moment, I don't have work because I take care of my father. Uh, he he is a, a older person. Uh, he has a different problem with his uh, health. It's for this reason. Uh, in that moment, I don't work him now. He's having health issues. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I have a big problem with his uh, health. Yeah, I hope he gets better soon. He's gonna even work. No way. Okay, maybe. Well, it's good you have time to take care of him. Yes. <laughs> at least, yeah, we have to look at the bright side. Yes, All it's right. better uh, take, care, take, care, take care of your him because if you choose the other person, maybe uh, he... It could mistreat him. Probably. Yeah. No, it's good you have time to spend it with him. All right, and everyone else, I hope you're doing well. It's a pleasure seeing you again. We don't have enough people tonight. What happened with the other eight people. I'm going to text them later if you give me time. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start stalking people. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining me. Okay. We are ready to start. Um, we're going to start with a reading, okay, about the future. So something that is already happening. Let me get everybody access the platform, please. It's here. And let's go to section... 2.9 if I'm not wrong. So we're gonna start with the reading. 2.9? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. So kind. Who's saying that? <laughs> 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 ah, it's you. I like okay. Thank you. Yeah. I saw you. All right. In this class, learn vocabulary. No, it's not this one. I think it's 2.8, 2.9. Need to get there. Take it forever. So we're gonna do a reading about this year, 2020, and all the predictions that were made about 10 years ago, I think. They're all right, you will see. This is the one. So this is what we have to do. 2.11, that is the number. Let's read this. Okay, one paragraph per person. Take, take turns reading aloud. When you finish, um, answer the questions, okay? Ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, awesome. All right, let's practice. Yes. I will not send you this through WhatsApp, so everybody please access the platform so that you can have it, you can zoom it, answer the questions at once, 2.11. All right, here we go. We're gonna practice in pairs. Okay, accept the invitation, please.
<laughs> Do you want to start the reading? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, I begin, uh, I, I begin with the first. Okay, okay. People used to know more or less how their children would live. Now, our own lives will be live in a few years. What follows it with this first to the future? Your daydream behind the, the hill of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot and with it, with its high tech computer, your car knows how to get you home safe, safety. Safety. You heal for the platform. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you want to start the reading or I start. I just take a minute because I need to get in. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Vanessa, can you share your screen yes. meanwhile? Yes. Yeah, let's do that. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. You go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need. Do you do you work? You do your work. You never heard the commute to work anymore. Take from your bank account. Nobody use cash anymore. What for lunch? Is the old days? You... I don't know what is the pronouns. Wealth, wealth, wealth. Wealth of your car, but that's okay. What paragraph? Sorry, second. Uh, the second uh, behind the wolf, wolf. Uh, behind the wheel, 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 wheel of wheel of your car. Yeah, but look, that's okay. the, the wheel, wheel, that's a steering wheel. Yeah, that's okay. And um, you have it on automatic pilot. And and you never have to commute to work okay. anymore. Yeah, and the number four, you usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. Yeah, this is the yes. after paragraph. Um, what for lunch? Is the old days. You used to stop off to get uh, hamburgers or pizza. No, you use your diagnostic matching to find out which full your body now your full preparation find out connect the sounds right it's true it's true it's true yes it's true uh, number okay. eight you have to go to a video store to rent a movie is true or false how are you very well man so I think that go Hi. to the platform. In... Hey, Gabriel, you were not in class last night. Me? Me dormi. Me dormi. I, I remember. No, David, I know you in class. Uh. <laughs> I remember the conversation we had. So, yeah. And Javier, you were in class too. <laughs> okay. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Just change it. <laughs> <laughs> Just change it. <laughs> I love okay. it. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, let's go. The red, yes. Okay. Hey, teacher. Hey. <laughs> we Did didn't. We didn't. Who finished? We did. We finished to read, but don't complete the, the sentence. You finished reading. Okay, because I yeah. saw some of you had. Okay, we're going to do that together again. So if you finish reading, uh, we can answer the questions. Let's see, number one, Carlos. You need to pay attention while driving. Mm -hmm. I think it's false. False. Okay. Yep. Two, Fer. Sorry, you're on mute. <laughs> Can't hear you. Okay, sorry. 
You pay for your groceries when they arrive. It's false. The groceries. False when they arrive. Okay. Yeah. Three, Vanessa. People don't use cash anymore. True. Mm -hmm. Next, hey, Gerardo. Uh, number five, you need to go to the office every day. It's false. Number four. Number no, four. four. Ah, four, four. sorry. Four. You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. False. False, okay. Five, Gabriel. You need to go to the office every day. True. Are you sure? False. False. It's false. False, okay. Arturo? Number six. You and your car worker have to speak in the, uh, the same language. Uh, the answer is false. Okay. Seven. Carlos Calderon? Number seven. When you get a message, you can see the sender face it is true. Good. Olga Ramirez. Uh, you have to go to a video store and read movies. Uh, false. Let's check. Yay. Okay. Everything is right. So look, guys, which of these predictions are already happening right now? Well, it's 2020, so is this true? Is this happening? The person who, the person who wrote the article <laughs> forgot about the pandemic. Yeah, that's the only thing. The whole having everything, but everything else is true, right? You said the computer yeah. translate. <clears throat> uh, almost. Almost true. What is not Don't true? Don't use cash anymore. Sorry? Don't use cash anymore. No cash. Mm -hmm. What are you paying with? I, hey. Uh -huh. I use Bitcoin. credit cards. Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin, maybe. Credit Bank. cards. Or bank account application. Uh-huh, exactly. Phone. No, I use I use a QR code, so I don't take my credit cards with me, and I don't take my I don't take cash. I use my phone to pay here in Argentina, so well, I scan a code and that's it. Scan to, to 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 use the train, uh, they they still use the subway. Yes, subway <laughs> so uh. still yeah, we use the subway, but we're paying with QR codes, so. I use my phone to pay. Uh, let me see. What else? Groceries, you order them, right? Because of the pandemic, uh, you go the, to the phone and then you receive food, right? It happens. Yeah. yeah, right. So pretty much everything is right. This person could see it all. Okay, now we're going to learn a different topic. Hmm. How can we start this? Relative clauses. Do you have any idea what that is? Let's go to section three. No? Ligia, can you read the objective, please? In, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. Uh, celebrations, okay, not yet, in a second. Right, some vocabulary. Pay attention, please. Dancing. Fireworks. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary. Cake. Cards. Dancing. Fireworks. Flowers. Fruit punch. Parade. Presents. Roast turkey. Wedding. Very good. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many are in your screen.
Repeat after me. Anniversary. 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 Cake. 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 Yeah, make sure you, when, whenever you see a C or a K, make sure you're saying K -k -k, okay? Cake. 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 Cards. Cards. Very good. Cards. Dancing. 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 That sounded well. Okay, dancing. Very good. Fireworks. 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 Flowers. 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 Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Parade. 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 Yeah. Parade. Party. 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 Present. 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 Roast turkey. Roast, Roast turkey. turkey. Wedding. 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 Uh -huh. Short Wedding. Okay. Wedding. Very good. Uh, do you know all the vocabulary? Yes. Hey, what's the most famous parade in the world? Uh, in the USA, I think. Sorry? I don't remember the name. The rose parade. Yes, Flowers. right. And giving rose parade. I don't yeah. remember the name. De las uh, rosas. I, I think, it. yeah, it's, ah, it's, las rosas. it's on, it's on January 1st, right? Always in January. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one. Very good. Okay, well, with this vocabulary, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about parties, okay? First question will be... Um, okay, first question is, it's not a question, make a list, you're going to make a list of 10 things that are key, meaning essential, okay, in, in a party, okay, so make a list of things. 10 things, and then the second thing you're gonna do is discuss the questions about parties. I'm gonna send about parties, yeah. I'm gonna send you some <laughs> questions, right? But let's start making the list in a different group. Any questions? Um, what, what kind of, of things? Oh, essential things in order to have a party. You tell me. <laughs> Beers, that's not the first essential thing. The dancer. <laughs> you guys are going overboard. I think. In general, right? Okay. I'm going to ask you later, so. Okay. I will send you questions, so make the list and then check what's up, okay? Let's get speaking. That's the idea. Here we go. Let's practice. Accept invitations. What images spring to mind when you hear the word party? Mm. For me, a uh, neon light, it's a, uh, you said the neon, algo así. <laughs> neon light, okay. Yeah, neon light. What about you, you Vanessa? Olga you what comes to your mind when you hear party? Uh, music, yes. Um, what else? Decoration of if, the place. Yes. Balloons. Yes. Balloons for decoration. Balloons for decoration. The um, place. Sweet. Place for realize that 
uh, maybe we we are not no, we don't have food we only have drinks but no, we don't have food snacks 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 and I think ice and some yeah, cups yeah. some cups and what do you think about things in, ten important things in the party food <laughs> <laughs> food yeah. yeah I was I was food. talking about food <laughs> but I don't know what kind of food do you like Oh, in a party, or maybe a um, steak. A steak. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool party. I like a snacks. Only a snacks. <laughs> yeah, that too. Snacks. Okay. Did you finish the list? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now discuss the questions. First question says, "What image springs? Spring uh, what images spring to mind when you hear the word party?" For me, balloons, friends, and that's it. What about you? The, the music. No, but images. <laughs> what ah, images, images bring to mind when you hear that word? Mariela was with you, right? Yes. But she's, she's gone. No, she will be back. Hold on. I'm going <laughs> to send her back. She leave us. <laughs> she left us. <laughs> but oh, sorry. Maybe sorry. she mentioned issues. Ah, four. Okay. Yeah, 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 because she's back. Hold on. Okay, here she is. Continue with the yeah. questions, all right? Um, in my case, I... I see... Sorry. A lot, a lot of people dancing. Mm -hmm. And let's see this stuff. Um... A table with about baby ornaments. Ornaments. Yes. And we need glasses. To, glass to drink. Uh huh. When you finish, discuss the questions. Did you see the questions? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> the, the first part. The first part. What's make a, a list. Make a list. A, 10 things. Okay, then check what's up, okay? Okay. Yes. All righty. Piñata is piñata. Piñata is piñata. She <laughs> likes the... Uh, piñata. I mean, piñata. Piñata. Mm -hmm. But this is okay. how... Okay. It's like tortilla. Tortilla, tortilla. It's the same. Piñata, <laughs> piñata. Piñata, mm -hmm. piñata. Horchata, horchata. Yeah. Horchata. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the props. <laughs> Uh, we have a discussion about the uh -huh. props. The props okay. is uh, the things that we take from, take a picture, for example, uh -huh. a mustache or a... Like a custom. Uh -huh. It's it like to hire a selfie stick. Uh-huh. Props. Uh -huh. Self yeah. sticks. Props. Okay. Props. Okay. Uh, when you finish, discuss the questions in WhatsApp, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because we're about to finish. Okay. We need shoes. Is it the that? Yes, I party hard, but just that. <laughs> I don't eat lunch or drink something weird. Yeah, the party hard uh, are the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, the party hard is, is finished too. First. Uh, question is, what images spring to mind when you hear the word party? And I think uh, in my case, uh, the lights <laughs> and music. <laughs> yes, music is. In my case, music. I like dance and hear New Year's Eve. Yeah. Uh, question number two: Do you like do you like to party? Do you party hard? Do you like what? 
I never think about was an earthquake. <laughs> yes. What is your favorite uh, disco? I don't know. My favorite? This club. Club. Sorry? It's like uh, alcanzar or alcanzar. Uh -huh. Throw, oh. throw is tirar, tirar. tirar. But uh -huh. that's, a, that's an expression in English, right? Tirar una fiesta, what do you think it is? Oh. Or organizar. Uh -huh. Aha, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the one. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. That is right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, number five. What was the worst party you've ever been to? But the four, we, we don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In my case, I, uh, I forgot. No, I don't know how to say, but for my close friends and my sisters. I don't know, many, many parties, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, many parties. And that's, that's good. Play poker. <laughs> yeah. Play poker or domino. Yeah. And drink and yeah. I, I lose money, but it's, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> On the, okay. In your party, play PlayStation. Okay. <laughs> No, or playing a hard. <laughs> the best party. In my case, yes. my, uh, when my friends uh, invite a person, uh, uh -huh. according, not not in participate in playing. Yeah, <laughs> it's common. I don't like to assist a uh, baby shower because. I don't like to see a pregnant woman. <laughs> For me, no. don't have sense. <laughs> I don't like to attend. <laughs> attend. Ah, yeah. Because you say attend a party, attend a class, ah, attend, attend a meeting. Attend. And then you say assist a patient uh -huh. in the hospital. Assist oh, a customer okay. in a store. So they're different in English. Attend is to go. And assist oh. is to help. Attend. Oh, yeah. Thanks, okay. teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Maybe, but I didn't know the copy. Huh? Yeah. Um, What's I don't the like worst? Because too much cars. A lot of traffic. And Too many cars. So, so many, many cars. Only when, yeah, three years ago, when near of my house uh, has an um, a discotheque and was for the 24 December. But <laughs> it was because it's very late and and and, uh, and the music is very hard and I cannot sleep. <laughs> The music was very loud. Ah, okay. The music is, was very loud. You couldn't <laughs> What the best birthday party you ever, ever had? Ever, ever had? The best party. The best, the best birthday party. Ah, birthday party. Um, I don't know. Maybe one when I when it was in the beach with a friend. It was a great party, the beach. What about you, Gerardo? Mm, my best birthday party, I think, was when my cousin mm -hmm. but it's a children party <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, that, that's so funny for me <laughs> right now because I, I i don't like the 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 parties in general you don't like parties really why not yeah interesting mm, i don't know because i prefer to stay at home relaxing and i don't know you don't drink <laughs> no uh, that's why <laughs> um, well, 
don't you don't need to drink to have a party. My the uh -huh. party I have had was a surprise party my friends organized. Well, we didn't drink. So just everybody got exactly. together. It was very nice because I had no idea they were going to be there. It was actually a surprise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about you? Uh, Vanessa, you already said it. Roberto, what about you? The last year, I have a, a, big, uh, a big birthday party mm -hmm. because uh, my friend, my friend, prepare a surprise for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was a good I, You had fun. And this year for the pandemic. Or because of, because of the pandemic. Because of the pandemic, and I didn't have a birthday party. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Only, only, only uh, with my family, only that. Well, but that's good. <laughs> We're going to go back now, guys. Let's go. Okay. All right. Did you enjoy the conversation? Yes, yeah. teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. So you did. All right, great. What are those 10 essential things? We need to make a list. What are they? Quickly. We have one minute to make that list. Come on, help me out. Hi. Ah, it's okay. Music. Music, all right. Food. Balloons. Balloons. Ah. Okay. Like a snack. A snack. Snacks. Okay. Cheers. Drinks. Drinks. Cheers. Yeah, please. Wow. A pool. Down. Yeah. Pool. Pool. Yeah. You, need <laughs> you need guests. Yes. 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 <laughs> it's kind of basic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I think we're only missing one. What else? Okay. One more cake. Cake. Dessert. Cake. Candy. Oh, cake. 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 Cell phone. <laughs> cake. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You need at least one cell phone to take pictures, right? So yeah, many things. Yeah. Lots of things. Very good. Um. Now, let me see. Here. But guess only ten guests about our job. <laughs> now you're only going to invite your cluster. <laughs> no more than 10 people. Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this time we are going to study relative clauses, which is what I thought we were going to study, but no. It's uh, this topic right now, section 3.2. Read the objective, please, Masi. Um, by the end of the, this class, yeah. You will understand the use of relative clause of time. Yes, relative clauses of time. Guys, I know this sounds complex. You probably already know this, okay? It sounds complex when you hear relative clause of time, but it's not, okay? Relative clause of time. Uh, you are simply going to learn how to connect ideas by using when, okay? So relative clauses of time equals when, okay? Simple. Pay attention to how to make sentences. This is exactly the same as in Spanish, right? We use them to connect ideas. Pay attention and you will see that it's exactly the same. Let's watch. Take notes, please, because you're going to see the structure too and some examples. So take notes. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay, did you get that? What a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. 
In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Let's watch part two. Now take notes, please. Relative clauses of time. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. What is a relative clause of time? A relative clause of time refers to a time, date or moment previously mentioned. They are usually introduced by the verb be. Right after the verb be, a noun phrase may follow. Example, the day, the month, the year, the season. And because we're referring to time, we will use when. Take a look at the structure and work with us on the following examples. Date plus verb be plus a noun phrase plus a relative clause of time when plus complement. If we study the first example, Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Valentine's Day is the date. Is is the verb be. A day, noun phrase, when, relative clause of time, people give presents to their loved ones would be the complement. Go on reading the other examples and try to understand them before you're asked to do the exercises. We want you to finish the following sentence using a relative pronoun when in our discussion box. Ready? Mother's Day is a day. We're going to do it with different examples. Okay, so let's study with when. And you can say, um, for example, you can say it's a day. You can say it's a month or the month. What else? What else do we have when we talk about time, guys? The season. Yes, I love that one. It's the season. Very good. What else? A year. A year. The year, the month, the day. The, the month. day. Maybe even the hour, okay. Now let's talk about um, September. What is going to happen next month in the country, guys? September. So we're going to say September is what? It's a day. It's a day. It's a month. When? 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 Celebrate Independence Day. Celebrate Independence Day. Independence Day. Exactly. Very good. Okay. <laughs> What if I say Monday to Thursday? What happens from Monday to Thursday, guys? Our classes. So Monday to Thursday. Today is the week. Is the week. Maybe are the days, are right? The days. Are the week the day? Are, are the days. The days. When, 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 when we have the have uh, English class. classes. English class. English Very good. Yes, and so on. Um, pay attention. I'm going to ask one of you. Mm -hmm. Ennio, can you hear me, Ennio? Ennio? Yes, yes. All right. Listen to Ennio. Ennio, what year were you born? I was born in. I was born. 19, I was born in 1985. 1985. Okay, so we're gonna start the sentence by saying 1985. Uh huh. It's a year. Is the year? Is the year? Is the year? Is the year. When? 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 when, 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 when and you know what born. Born. Was, born. Was, born. Born. was born yes easy right yeah. pretty easy okay so relative clauses of time a hard topic for a simple <laughs> for such a simple one 
Let's do an exercise. Um, where's the exercise? I can see it. Ah, here it is. Okay, don't look. Well, don't <laughs> <do now. laughs> so let's do, uh, go to section 3.4 and let's do it in pairs because I already have the answer. So I will give you, how many sentences do we have? I will give you three or four minutes to do this. So section 3.4 in pairs, let's do it right now. Okay, there it is. Accept the invitation. Three minutes, guys. Quickly. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. When a couple gets engaged. Mm, okay. Where is the moon when? Brazilians celebrate a carnival. Carnival, carnival yes. Okay, carnival. The uh, number two, not the number two. Oh, yeah. uh, April Fool's Day is a day ah, when people, people sometimes. sometimes April Fools for the the word I think is when the answer like for me is people sometimes play tricks on friends because it is April Fools. <laughs> they, I don't know. Um, no, um, people sound like like tricks. Uh huh. I. Yes, for the for the fools. April, yeah. Yeah. Uh, May and June are the month when um, hmm. people. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Where is the carnival? Yeah. When the. And then the last of February is the month when Brazilians. Celebrate carnival, yeah. Okay. You guys finished? Yeah. Yeah, we finished. Great. We finished. Come back then. Okay, I guess everybody finished, right? Yes. 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 The majority did. Very good. Um, on the platform, we're gonna leave it here. This is where we're gonna leave off. Okay, three point four, three point five. We're gonna continue tomorrow. But I want you to start seeing what um relative clause is. Okay, so one of the relative clauses is when. Okay, but what are other WH words? We have when, what, what else? Where. Who, where. where. Why. Why. Who. Who's. Who's. Who is. Which. 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 How, you're forgetting how. Oh. Mm -hmm. How. 
Uh, how <laughs> is W H like this? Okay, but it's still W. <laughs> so how is another one? Well, if this is a relative clause of time, this is a relative clause of place, right? And so on. It's basically the same structure, okay, but with different topics. We are going to practice this tomorrow. We're even going to play a game, so I hope everybody's in class because depending on <laughs> whether you pay attention or not, it may be complicated or easy, okay? Uh, you're going to watch a video. Get your notebooks out, please. We'll see how they are used. Clauses. Let's talk about relative clauses. Relative clauses can also be called adjective clauses. Relative clauses are used to give additional information. They function like an adjective. The formula is relative pronoun plus subject plus verb or relative pronoun as a subject plus the verb. Let's look at this example. Tom is talking to a girl. Do you know the girl? Instead of repeating a girl and the girl twice, instead we can say, do you know the girl who is talking to Tom? Who is a relative pronoun. Who is talking to Tom is a relative clause. Here are the relative pronouns. The relative pronouns who or whom is used to describe people. Where is used to describe places. When is used for times. That and which are used for things. And whose is used to show possession. Let's talk more about whose. We use the relative pronoun whose to show possession. For example, his book. The author whose book I just read is going to be in my town. His ears. The boy whose ears are big is in my class. Her cat. The woman whose cat bit me lives around the corner. We can use the relative pronoun whose to replace the possessive pronouns his and her. Sometimes we use different relative pronouns whether we're referring to the subject or the object. For example, New York is a city that never sleeps. New York, where I went last year, is a great place. Notice we use that if the relative clause doesn't have a subject. We use where if the relative clause has a subject. In this case, the relative clause contains the subject I. Here's another example. His birthday, which is in June, is his favorite day of the year. Here we use the relative pronoun which because the relative clause does not contain a separate subject. His birthday, when he turns 12 years old, is on a Monday this year. Here we use when because the relative clause contains the subject he. This is similar to that. Uh, we can watch this tomorrow. Definite clause. Uh, let's see some examples using where. Okay. So we already saw when. Now we're gonna see where. I think this is easy for you because we use the same structure in, in Spanish, right? But we're gonna practice tomorrow, as I said. Let's do some examples right now before we finish. Uh, let's talk about school. Okay, what can we say about school? School is what? School is the place where? Mm -hmm. The place, the place where, where, children, where the children, children study. Very good. Study. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if we say, um, let's say Mexico. What about Mexico? Mexico is where, the country. The country where where America tequila. <laughs> where 
Tequila is produced. Tequila is produced. Right? Okay. Good. Now let's say the. Um, we're going to say another place. I'm trying to think. Let's talk about London. London is the country. The city. London is the city. Uh, where, where is located the big Where, the, where the Queen Isabel lives. Where Queen Isabel lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, or where the big bang. What is that? The Big Bang big Monument? Theory. <laughs> no, but the monument. <laughs> where the Big Bang the is located. Is the clock. Is that the huge? The Big Bang is clock. located. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And, and we can say, for instance, El Salvador. Uh -huh. Country where you can fight for food. The country where you can where? fight for food. Hey, I'm looking for pupusas. What can I go to El Salvador? Where you can <laughs> find pupusas. Find pupusas. What mm -hmm. else? We have more every important corner. things. Uh, well, yeah, that's very specific. In every corner, that's good. For every for every <laughs> block, right? <laughs> Every block you go, you can see a pupuseria. Okay, what else? Is the country where? Sorry? Where? Where you enjoy? Where you can enjoy the beaches, right? And that's it. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, yes, it's yes. Right. Yes. Awesome. You have any questions? No, teacher. No, 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 no. No clear. Let's take a picture. Okay. You get picture perfect right now. Let's see. <laughs> this is that moment of the yeah, night. <laughs> You're like <laughs> smiling like this, wanting to go to bed. Here we go. <laughs> Say English. <laughs> there you go. Hold on, give me one second. You know I have to take two pictures. Hold on. We are so many. We're a lot of students. So here goes the second one. Uh, 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 okay. One, two, three. There. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure seeing you. I hope to see Thank every you one of you tomorrow. If you have any problems, let me know, please. We have to practice a lot, okay? okay. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.